In the real world, the transistor looks like this. And in the circuit diagram, an NPN transistor is represented this way. In NPN transistor, a P-type semiconductor is sandwiched between two N-type semiconductors. The first thick layer is called the emitter, which is heavily doped. The second thin layer is lightly doped. And the third layer is the collector. Here, the collector section is larger than the emitter section. In emitter based forward bias, the electrons, which are the majority carriers in N type emitter region, move into the base region. This current is called emitter current, i.e., out of the larger number of electrons, 2% combine with the few holes in the base, causing a small base current, IB. The other 98% of the electrons cross over the collector base junction and enter the collector region and they are attracted by the positive of the power supply VCC. This current is referred to as IC. To study the characteristics, let us connect the NPN transistor in the circuit. For input characteristics, for different constant collector voltage, we notice the corresponding change in the base voltage and base current IB. For output characteristics, for different constant base current IB, we notice the corresponding changes in the collector current IC and the collector voltage VC. After removing the parallax error, we need to note down the position of the image needle. Here, as you can see, the position of the image needle is at 100.5 centimeters. The position of the image needle is at the center of curvature of the convex mirror. The distance between the convex mirror to the image needle gives the radius of curvature of the convex mirror. Half of that is the focal length. To find the index error, we use a knitting needle. Now, let us find the length of the knitting needle using the scale engraved on the optical bench. Here, the length of the knitting needle is 25 centimeters. Now, we adjust the knitting needle such that one end of the knitting needle touches the pole of the mirror and the other end of the knitting needle touches the tip of the image needle. As the length of the knitting needle is 25 cm, the actual distance between the pole of the mirror and the tip of the image needle is 25 cm. Whereas, the distance between the two index marks on the uprights is 25.5 cm. Therefore, the observed measurement is 0.5 cm more than the actual measurement. Therefore, we need to subtract 0.5 cm from the observed measurement to get the correct measurement. We have found out that the rough focal length of the convex lens used in this experiment is 10 cm. Table for determination of focal length. Position of convex mirror M in centimeters. In the first arrangement, the object needle, convex lens 
and the convex mirror are placed on the optical bench. The inverted image of the object needle was observed on the object needle when the convex mirror was at a position of 54.6 cm. Image needle I in centimeters. In the second arrangement, the convex mirror is removed and the image needle is placed on the optical bench. The inverted image of the object needle is formed on the image needle. Then, the image needle was at a position of 100.5 cm on the optical bench. Observed distance MI in centimeters is 100.5 cm minus 54.6 cm which is 45.9 cm. Actual distance MI in centimeters. Actual distance MI in centimeters is equal to observed distance MI in centimeters plus index correction. Index correction E is equal to minus 0.5 centimeters. Therefore, actual distance is equal to 45.4 centimeters. Focal length F is equal to R by 2 centimeters. That is 45.4 by 2 that is equal to 22.7 centimeters. Similarly, the other readings are as follows. Mean focal length of the convex mirror is 68.2 by 3 which is 22.73 cm. We select a suitable scale on x axis 1 cm is equal to 5 degree on y axis 1 cm is equal to 5 degree and origin is 30 degree comma 30 degree. Now let us plot the points on the graph. For x is equal to 35 degree, y is equal to 46 degree. x 40 degrees, y 42 degrees. x 45 degrees, y 40 degrees. x 50 degrees, y 38 degrees. x 55 degrees, y 42 degrees x 60 degrees y 45 degrees after plotting all the points on the graph we need to join all the points using a free hand such that the line passes through the maximum number of points now the lowest point on the line is identified and a perpendicular is drawn on the y-axis the y-coordinates use the value of angle of minimum deviation dm. Here, the angle of minimum deviation is 39 degrees. 